Hi guys, it's Ryan from Real Sea Anglers again. I've had somebody uh, give me a request for a video on pedal rigs, uh, well, pulley pedal rigs, if I'm being precise. Um, so here I am. So I'm going to just run through with you what one of my pedal rigs is like, my pulley pedal rigs, just so you've got a, a rough idea. A lot of you guys probably know what a pulley pedal rig is. It's pretty pretty basic, but for you beginners, you probably won't. So here we go. I make my pulley panel rigs out of seventy pound monofilament all the way through, purely because the areas I fish they're rocky, snaggy, and you're bringing your rig through. It's hitting the the rocks, everything. You're gonna get abrasion, nicks, tears, whatever. And before long, your rig's gonna be pretty much knackered. And then by the time you do get a nice fish on, twang. It's all gone and you end up kicking your feet, crying and wanting to snap your rod into bits. I know that one, believe me. Okay, so obviously I make it through 60, 70 pounds straight through, all the way through. At the bottom, as you can see there, I have a genie rig clip. That's what the hook actually clips onto. Then you follow all the way through and then you go on to a 5mm bead next, then a swivel, which is free flowing. And then another 5mm bead. And then, connected, you have a connecting swivel. I follow it through all the way, again, to the hooks. Now, I normally have 2030 or 3040, okay? So that's a size 20 and 30, or a 30 and 40, depending on what bait you're using, depending on where you're fishing, whatever, okay? So the moral of the story, again, you'd bait up on there. And I'll just show you roughly how to do it. You thread your worm. Obviously, you thread your worm on head first. Thread it on as normal until you're happy with the amount you've got on. Or sand deal, whatever. Then what you do is you slide your hook all the way down to the bottom here without getting it caught. Okay, so you thread all the way to the bottom there. Wrap around a few times so it holds in place. And then you nick the back of the bait and that's pretty much it so your bait's nice and secure your bait's not going to go flying up or flying down it's in a secure place you've got two well lots of different many angles for the fish to grab if the fish doesn't go for for the bottom of the, the rig it comes at the side top that's why you've got that hook there it's not only just to hold your bait it's also there just in case a fish comes from another angle and, and grabs it from the the other side you've got another hook so yeah it's better for your fishing in general uh, it's good for your bait and for actually making sure you hook that fish so there that's your panel that's your panel okay so again your panel flowing through all the way through to a connecting swivel flowing through all the way again five mil bead going into a swivel again which is free flowing there you can see it, and another 5mm bead. You don't have to use 5mm beads, you can use whatever bead you want. This is just me because I think it's more streamlined in my eyes. And then your rig clip. And then what you do then, once you've actually baited up your hooks, okay, you then put it on to your rig clip. Um, and then that free flowing swivel you see, which is there, you will then hook that free flowing swivel straight onto the end of your leader. So on your under your leader you should have like a link clip or something. Put the swivel straight on the link clip. And then what you do then, cast it out. The rig clip will then come off like so. It works smoothly underwater a lot better. <laughs> so it comes off loose. So there you go, there's your hook. There's your lead. And the idea of a pulley rig is literally what it says. It's a pulley. Once your fish is here, giving it a tug, giving it a bite, you strike. The fish is on. And then what you do then is you obviously pull your fish in. Once you're pulling your fish in, the weight of the fish counteracts the weight of the lead and pulls the lead up. Hence why it's called a pulley rig. Okay? So your lead will then rise nice and high, clear above from all the snags and keeping your fish trailing. So if your fish does manage to go in any snags, chances are the fish is going to come out of the snag at some point anyway. If it was your lead, you'd probably have to say goodbye fish and goodbye lead, and uh, it'll snap at the weakest point. 
So that's your pulley rig. Okay. So your your legs are gonna stay nice and high. Your fish is gonna stay low. You're gonna avoid the snags. Hopefully bring your fish in. And that is about it. So once again, guys, if you wanna know anything else more, please comment, and uh, I'll do my best to to help you out and give you the best advice I can. Cheers, guys.